Most people in life run into people that they spend a lot of time with and then something happens, usually by some person outside of that relationship, impacting that relationship, hurting that relationship, harming that relationship, insinuating the relationship is not moral, not right, and all of a sudden that, in, that incredibly intense, wonderfully marvelous friendship gets ruined. Who's to blame is never really the issue. Both parties need to be to blame if one party tried to call and the other one refused to talk to them. But at the same time, we have these marvelous rules in the Bible and in the Quran and all these different works across the land that talk about what God expects of us when there's a discord. And when there's a discord, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go to that party and apologize and say, what can I do to fix it? And if the party won't listen, then you're supposed to go and get someone else who sort of knows both parties and say, help me find out what I can do to fix it. And of course, along all that stuff, you're supposed to pray. And here's the, the, the trick of the day. Every time I prayed for a particular relationship to be repaired and healed, amongst the two most incredible women I've ever met in my lifetime, both tall, both blonde, both sophisticated, both fun, both intelligent, both wise, God would fix it. The person would refollow me on some social media channel. The person would reconnect with me over the phone and say, I'm sorry. So if you want relationships to work today, you better fucking have God in it today, because the ones you choose without God will never work.